Hello everyone, today we are playing The Witcher Wild Hunt. Let's meet with Dandelion. Look awfully suspicious to me, trap. Is it truly what? What's the hurry? To be a purveyor of cheap horns and water down. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. You deserve it. Be a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. I don't trust you. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. How much do you need? Maybe I can lend you the coin. Thank you, Geralt, but I refuse to take a single crown from you. You know what they say. Fastest way to lose a friend is to loan him some coin. But a favor? That's different. What kind of favor? I dated this girl once. Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You knew I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need... To draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. What can I do? Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Oh, man. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? I have my strength, Geralt. Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. What village are you from? We Let's get a fake sword. Ah, 
So good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm -hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Let's get out of here. made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. <laughs> this could actually work. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Not your lucky day, miss. Hand me your purse, now. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Let's kick his ass. I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? In her as much as life. Now let's go to the brothel.
Let's Bye -bye. meet with Dandelion again. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Choices. Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrive. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion yeah, you've known him longer. Say something. You're both stage artists, and cabaret's a form of theater. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Is the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. He'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. True enough. Adheres to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You need it, Mom. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure, I hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. I'll give you a discount. What for her own? Let's find Dandelion. Your very presence is an affront to the eternal fire. What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh. Hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere.
Fine. Let's find the key. Find it. Not here. Ah, the key. Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut up, or I'll split your skull! My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. So... Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very from a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Hmm. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. I never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlix. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rodlick. You head back to the Rosemary. Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? Why no, not? I said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Cheetah. Oh. Random thieves. Oi, Grey Knight. Big Squire. Let's get those placards. Looking for Rodlick. 
You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcass is picked clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. You diff. Didn't you hear me? This is all mine now. Fuck off, freak. <sighs> and here I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. Not too late to surrender. the Vagal Bud estate. Rolnick's losing his last crowns at the races, I wager. Now get the hell out of here. Let's go to the fast travel post. fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. I've got a cold. <coughs> Is there a land where... You want a race? I'm not let you groom my horse. <laughs> well, Rotlick, see you. You, Rotlick? Henri Rotlick? Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. As a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. Deluverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. You've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to Deluverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Ah. Oh. men, dumb struck with awe. Behold, medley gallant. You go your way, street. I'll go mine.
Now what that is the result we can meet with Dandelion. Start in G major and. <sighs> I've told you. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh. accoutrements on the wall. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Thyme wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We have it. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home from my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... She say anything about me? Uh-huh. She said you've gained some weight, and that you should bathe more often. Very funny, Geralt. Shove it. Well, well. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Dandelion living in monogamy. I've always been monogamous. Well, near enough. I just changed muses often. Priscilla, another one for your collection? No, she's its crowning glory. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? You! She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly, someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery? Clearly not. 
It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. No problem. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Great analogy, but this tumor is not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up. Especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. You lead. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? I tried to get the temple guard to enter the sewers, alas, to no avail. So I took matters into my own hands. At no charge. You damned idealists, ruining the market for us. See you next time.